How's it going? So, um, recently, um, ever since the presidential debate, I've been thinking of this one question. Who would win in a fist fight between Joe Biden and Donald Trump? Now look, I'm not gonna get all political and shit here. I think the only political part of this is simply the fact that it's between the two candidates. But, who would win in a boxing match? Okay, look, I'm, I drew them from memory, they may not be that good, but look. Biden and Trump. Alright, I should have drew it in fucking marker or some shit. Okay, look. This is basically... I didn't even get the faces right, but... What you need to understand, right? Okay, look. From looks alone, when I was watching the presidential debate, I says to my parents, I says, Who do you think would win a fist fight between Biden and Trump? And we all kind of agreed that... Biden looks like he could still throw down. Donald Trump kind of looks like a bitch. So, um, I was even asking about it uh, this morning. I was talking to someone on Discord. I was like, who would win a fist fight between Trump and Biden? And I said, you know what? Because look, nothing is more exciting than watching two old men pummel the shit out of each other until one of them falls over. Now, this is not an original idea. I thought it was, but... Um, in research for this, I actually found a website that basically pitted the two of them together in a fight. But you see, they kind of lowballed it with the fight, right? Because they said if it doesn't end in fucking... Uh, I forgot what they used, but basically they were saying it would be a tie because they're both old-ass men and they might not be able to work anymore. But look, I am talking... About a real ass fight, not a joke. This is a joke, but just to clarify, right? This so this fight will probably never happen. Although it would be awesome, it's probably not gonna happen. You see, because I feel like Joe Biden, no matter how much shit Donald Trump spews at him, it's pr he's probably not gonna take it personal. He's just not gonna get under his skin because Biden is like to me, seems like an honorable man. And Donald Trump, he does have honor, but I think that he doesn't show it, like, as persona or whatever. Um, but I think that, like, they both look like tough old men. Okay, like, initially, I was like, okay, Joe Biden looks like he could take me out in one. And Donald Trump looks like maybe I could fight him a little bit. And maybe I might even win. But upon further inspection... Because in the debate, right, they only had it, like, up to their necks and above. And I was like, just by the way that, you know, they carried themselves, I was thinking, you know what, Biden p could probably kick his ass. Because I was thinking, if they could beat me, they can most definitely beat each other. And I know for, and it's because just the way that Biden holds himself reminds me of, like, an uncle or something that, like, don't take no shit. Like, he'll play around with you, but if you fuck up, he's gonna knock your ass out. And Donald Trump more or less kind of looked like, um... That drunk guy at a party that, like, just talks too much and you really want to punch him. But you know that if you punch him, he's probably going to sue you. So that was, like, my logic. But then when I was looking up, I actually saw this picture, which I'm going to put, like, right now. Where Donald Trump, he's got his arms crossed. He's smiling like a smug motherfucker. Not smugly. But, like, he's just smiling. And he's crossing his arms. And I'm like, holy shit. No, nah, he's got muscle mass, too. Like, they both look they could scrap. But, like, Biden... Joe Biden, he looks like he could still throw the fuck down. Okay? He could still throw if he just fucking went for it. Boom, boom. And Donald Trump, he looked like he could still fight, but, like, he would be more wild. Like, I said, Joe Biden is like Muhammad Ali, and Trump is like Mike Tyson. All right? Like, because think of it, I was thinking of it like this, right? If there was going to be a boxing match... Okay, 12 rounds, 5 minutes each. In the left corner, an elder of 75, 6, six foot tall, weighing an enormous 6 foot tall, weighing 215 pounds, former Vice President Joe Biden. And 
man in the right corner. Younger by a year at 74, and an impressive six foot three inches tall, weighing an even more massive 244 pounds. Donald Trump. They're standing there, you know, doing their thing. Like Joe Biden's got his eyes on the prize, Donald Trump's in the corner, you know, pointing at him, fucking talking shit. Then fucking, and then fucking Bernie Sanders is the fucking referee. All right, all right, get it on, let's get it on. And he touched gloves, and then Donald Trump goes, hua, 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 hua. And then, then Joe Biden, he's gonna stick a move, he sees an opening, bah! And then Donald Trump goes down, one, two, three, he gets back up, do, 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 do. I, <laughs> I got into that, but anyway, like I'm just thinking like, <laughs> like just two old men just fucking boom, 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 boom. But like, based on the way that they talk, right? I assume that Donald Trump would be like Mike Tyson, because you know he kind of just goes for it, just sort of bum rushes his opponent. You know, he's that kind of guy in a fight that just tackles you, like just as it's announced that he's gonna fight you. In fact, he's the kind of guy in a fight that doesn't do the, you know, the shove or whatever pre-fight ritual. He just fucking slacks you with his fist. But then, like, Joe Biden, I feel he's the kind of guy that goes, You don't want this, player. You don't fucking want this. You can't take it. You you can't. Do, you can't fucking. No, nah, man. Like, he's the kind of guy that will just try to warn you before he beats your ass. Like, fucking. I just keep thinking. That Biden would be, like, the honorable black guy. Like, I don't want to go, like, heel or whatever, because that's slightly political. But I think that, like, Biden would be the kind to, like, try to get you, try to solve things with words. But Donald Trump would be the kind of guy at the bar that just, you know, smacks your face for false crack. But then, like, I think that Biden would probably win in a fist fight. Like... I think that he would win by TKO in maybe the s sixth round. I don't know whether or not to say six or seven. But I think he would knock him out by the sixth round. And if not, Donald Trump would win in the third. And that's not because, like, Donald Trump's stronger or whatever. It's because, like, it's just his... The way that I think that his style would be. It'd be like, um... Biden would be the kind of just, you know, block right, poke with your left. But Donald Trump would be the kind that put your head down and just swing. You may be wondering, Goji, why do you want to see two old men fight? Because it's awesome. And because, like, because I feel like society has reverted to a point in time where the strongest man can probably be the only one to lead. You know, because fucking whatever, I don't care. But, like, I feel like if these two old men, right, they... They look like they were about to fight. And you know what? Donald Trump... Okay, look. Let's start this over, okay? Uh, Joe Biden, Donald Trump. About to have a fist fight. And they're doing stats, right? So I feel like Biden would have pretty okay strength. He would have a higher than average strength, speed. Or he would be like a well-rounded opponent. But then Trump would be more like... He just min-maxed into power and whatnot. And, like, maybe slow down on mobility. Because I don't really think that he can run really fast. Like, I don't think that he really works on cardio. But I feel like Donald Trump, if he really wanted to, probably could knock me out in one. I feel like they could both knock me out in one if they really felt like it. Like, if I were to just fuck with him. But <clears throat> I feel like Joe Biden would do it nonchalantly, like a badass, like, if I was t mouthing off and he was like, Pah! and then I'm down on the ground, fucking, oh, and then Donald Trump would be like, you don't want any of this, man, you better shut up or I'll cancel you on Twitter, I don't got Twitter, boom, but then he'll be like, yes, that's right, you don't mess with me, man, nah. Who, 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 East Side, East Coast. So anyway, <laughs> will you shut up, man? <laughs> well, honestly, if anybody has ties, 
I dare you send this to both of them on Twitter. I think that would be really funny. <laughs> but, like, if they were really to fight, I think it would be a semi-even match up until, like, you know, round six or seven when they just want to get it over with. All right, so boom, 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 boom. And then the Secret Services or whatever, they're going to have to have a civil war, like, around it. Or, 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 it could be a grudge match. It could be, like, the team battle in Tekken, okay? You get, um... You split the Secret Service down the middle. Whoever wants to go with Biden, whoever goes with Trump, right? Then they all jump in, ba ba ba, knock one guy out, and then the other one jumps in, ba ba ba. Whoa, whoa. Like that would be fucking epic. Or be better yet, better yet, better yet. Okay, like, <clears throat> imagine this, right? Like, uh, you get Biden and you get Trump. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You get Biden, you put him in one corner, and you get all the Secret Service. They go one at a time, but then Biden's got to be like martial arts, like, bah, 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 bah. Knock all of them out, and then Trump is like the final boss. Yo. <laughs> that should be how we do elections. Like, we do elections, but just so we can pick our champion. And then fucking, you get one guy, you get all the Secret Service dudes, like, on stairs up until the president, or the president as of that point, then your guy just has to go, bah, 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 throw the dude off the fucking stair, fucking doo doo doo, maybe you give him one gun, and then fucking he gets up to the, he gets up to the president, and then they have a one on one, Mortal Kombat, and then the eagle comes out of nowhere, but, um, I feel like Donald Trump might have um, an unfair advantage, you see, because of his, um, diagnosis with the plague, he'll do 20% poison damage in every attack, so I feel like Biden would have to use, like, ranged attacks, like, say, um, this fishing pole that I have right here, uh, this says, actually, you know what, let me check, I forgot, it's up to my neck, it's got five foot reach, and of course, if your arm is five foot, is a foot long, I think my arm is one foot long, you know, you could keep him at a distance with this stick, you know, smack his face around, poke him in the eye, all that. I don't know. I think, like, the optimal strategy, because um, we're going to make a Joe Biden a protagonist in this anime situation that we're playing him into here. I think that Joe Biden will need to use ranged attacks, and Donald Trump would want to get up and personal with him. Uh, this has evolved past the initial idea, um, because if it was two old men having a fist fight, obviously, I think that Biden would win, like, if he, you know, stuck to his guns, you know, stick and move, and he weaved and whatnot, but I think, like, he would have to stay out of Trump's reach, um, because once, you know, Trump gets him in one, I think it would be over from there, pretty much, but I think that Biden could win the normal fist fight. Um, just because, like, it's the way that he carries himself kind of gives me a sense of power, you know? Where, like, it's like a, a coiled spring, right? Where, you know, he, he'll stand stock still, he'll stick to his guns, he'll use his words, but if you fucking, if you mention any of his sons, he'll probably whoop your ass. Now, Donald Trump might have, um, allies and numbers. Okay, I'm going to go into speculation, I'm not trying to be political or anything. But Donald Trump might allegedly, okay, have, you know, the Secret Service and the KKK on his side. Um, I'm not accusing him of being in the KKK. But, like, because of the meme or whatever, he might have them on his side, but you don't know. Um, but then Joe Biden might have um, people on the inside. Because, you know, he's got, he's friends of the army, right? I mean... Donald Trump might control the army, but, like, Joe Biden and his kids are in the army, so, like, they might come around, help out, brother. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just spouting off. I think that would be fucking sick. It's probably never gonna happen. <clears throat> oh, like, pre-fight? I feel like Donald Trump would talk the most shit. Okay, it would be like Dream vs. Technoblade, right? Fucking, I think that... Donald Trump would be Dream, and then Technoblade would be Joe Biden, because, you know, you know, Technoblade had, like, more experience or whatever, not really more experience, but he was just around longer, but, like, Donald Trump, because, like, I wasn't here for The Apprentice and all that, and whatever kind of crap he did, 
So to me, like, he just sort of came out of nowhere as, like, that guy from Home Alone. But then, like, you get, you get Joe Biden, and, like, I feel like Joe Biden could probably just, like, sort of sit there, and, like, maybe he could tank a couple of the strong punches, you know, just so he could get out of the combo or whatever. But I feel like Joe Biden would win if he just, like, stuck to his whatevers. Like, if... <clears throat> if... <clears throat> if Donald Trump is a barbarian, then Joe Biden is a samurai. Y you see what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. If we were to go down the line, okay? A uh, gunfight, um, Donald Trump, hands down, he would win. Because... He's in the Ministry of Defense. Actually, oh fuck, that might be an even thing because if, I, if I'm being honest, um, I don't really know enough about politics to really have an opinion. But I think that something down the line, Donald Trump kind of advocated for um, uh, gun control. I mean, I think that everyone did, but like, I think, I think something about Donald Trump didn't do much for gun control, or at least like didn't really acknowledge it as a big problem and didn't really change anything about it but like <clears throat> I think that maybe because Biden he probably got taught a couple things from his sons or whatever about how to shoot and whatnot but I think that Donald Trump just because like you know he controls the army he did all that I think that he would probably know how to shoot a gun and probably do it well I think they would be kind of even on that front um, and it just because I think it would be funny to watch, um, a fight to the death with the blades, you know, sword fight. Um, I think that Biden might win, because I feel like, um, Trump would be more like Kendo, and then Biden would be like, uh, I don't know if it's called, I don't know what it's called, but like, I think it's, I want to say Bushido, but I'm thinking like what the samurai do, because I feel like Trump would go in there swinging like mad, but then Biden would be like cold, calculated. Psh, psh. Like Samurai Jack versus, uh, I don't know. But I I really think that they're kind of evenly matched for the most part. Like, I, if, you, if there's anything that you can tell from what I think, I think that Donald Trump was, is more like a rushdown and Biden would be more like um, a poker, you know what I mean? Like, not really a zoner, but, like, fuck, I don't know. And, like, if we're gonna say vice presidents, if the vice presidents were gonna have a fight, fuck. Harris would fucking own, I swear. Harris would own so hard. Because, like, freaking, when I was watching the vice presidential debate, Harris reminded me of an auntie that, like, is just ready to kick ass. You know what I mean? Because, like, freaking, there was one part where she snapped. And then, like, fucking, it made me flinch. <laughs> I forgot what she said. But she was like, <laughs> and I was like, whoa! <laughs> like, to fucking, I was slouching. I was just sitting on the ground. And then she snapped. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, she scared the shit out of me. And then from that point on, I paid more attention. As if she was going to fucking jump out the screen and bitch slap me like that. But fucking i paid so much attention i was watching and the other guy fucking he looked like a pansy like he looked like the kind of guy in the club or whatever that would be like pushing everybody like so so bitch hmm, hmm, pussy and then like fucking you throw one punch he's like ah! but like <laughs> fucking harris would rule that fight harris would fucking win just fucking boo because freaking yeah let's go with vice president okay um Young looking woman, um, still another old man. Now, I don't know much about the vice presidents, right? I was thinking about, you know, the president presidents, but like, vice presidents, I feel like there would have to be like tag team. Like, for it to be fair, maybe not fair. What I'm saying is Biden and Harris could definitely beat the asses of Trump and whoever is vice president. See, look, that's the thing. I don't even remember the vice president's name, which makes him a pussy. <laughs> that means that he didn't do shit, which means I have nothing to go off of. I just remember he was this howly dude 
I think he also had white hair, you know, just talking normal. But he also, you know, talked different from Trump. But they were also kind of the same. And, like, they just, just the way that they talk. Oh, yeah, I remember. The vice president kept talking, talking about, like, taxes and whatnot. But I know for a fact that he wasn't talking to people like me. He was talking to the rich people. He's going to raise your taxes. Not mine. Uh, if there was a fight between the vice presidents, Harris would hit first. So then, like, it would get... Like, not because, oh, I'm not going to touch her. No, I think that if she was told she was going to get into a fight, she would walk up to the motherfucker, boom, and then it would be on from there on. And, you know, they'd squabble and whatever. But that would be like, um, fucking Biden and Trump would be like the title fight. And then I forgot the word for it, but, you know, the secondary fight, you know, to get you hyped up for another one, for the main battle. Like, I feel like they would be that, and then, like, Biden and Trump would be after that. You know, they'd be, oof, what's good, what's good? Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I don't really know if you get to choose secretary or whatever. Um, but I'm not concerned about that, because, you know, I don't hear news. I don't hear news about that, you know what I mean? But, um... And honestly, um, just as comparison, you know, if I were to go into the ring to fight all four of them, like, because that's how I really scale power with what it is to me. Like, Biden knocked me out cold. Trump, I could probably fight him for a little bit. And, you know, it might be, it might be a draw at best. If anything, I think I might win against Trump. You know, if we were just go at it. Um, Harris, she would definitely kick my ass. Uh, the vice president to Trump, I could probably take him out. It's probably 25, 75 favor him, but I think I could still take him. And the reason I say this is because, um, they're grown ass men and I, I, I may be a, I'm not really a scrapper. I don't get into many fights, but, um, I think I could, you know, I can fight someone my size. I might be able to take someone bigger than me. Definitely fucking smaller than me is like no joke. I mean, I have gotten my ass beat by someone smaller than me. So it's not out of the realm of possibility, but that shit, he caught me off guard, okay? I'm not trying to make myself look weak, but <clears throat> like, I, I think I could definitely hold my own. But against maybe Biden, hell no. Uh, Donald Trump, fuck. I think that... <clears throat> It would all come down to technique in terms of who wins between Biden and Trump. Because, like, Biden looks like he he can still scrap, it seems. But Trump, it looks like... Because maybe if we're going to go all shallow about this, how, like... How I think that most people think about it would be, like, Trump, maybe because he's rich, he wouldn't have to fight for much no more. But I think that he's kind of fighting all the time, you know what I mean? Because that is the American dream. Like, he went from not really much, and then he just fucking went off, did his thing, now he's fucking rich. And you know what, you probably do have to crack some heads to do that, to pull that off. But I'm thinking that Joe Biden, even as an old man, probably still has to deal with his kids. You know what I mean? Because, like, I don't know shit about Donald Trump's kids or his wife or whatever. Um, but I, I think that they're the kind of kids that wear vests to school, you know what I mean? The cotton vests, meaning that they go to a fucking private school or something like that. But Biden looks like, I feel like, because I don't really know anything about their lives, but I feel like Biden would be the kind of guy that even if he had money, he would still send his kids to a pri public school, you know, so that they could learn to fend for themselves. What I'm saying is Biden looks tougher than Trump, but Trump looks like he could still crack heads. You know what I mean? Like... <clears throat> And I'm not trying to be political or nothing. I'm just thinking that this could be... It would be really cool to watch. But like, I know it probably never happened. And if I had the money, I would pay like... Okay, so here's the plan. If we get enough money and get enough coattails, this blows up. We're going to go find two old Howley dudes, right? Two old Howley dudes. We're going to give them masks. Okay, first thing, we're going to buy Biden and Trump masks. We're going to find two old Holly dudes. Tell them, put the mask on. We're going to pay them $50 each. And they're going to fight. <laughs> and, um, oh, cardiac arrest. 
And uh, assuming, and then, you know, we'll have EMS at the side, you know, just to make sure that they don't mess each other up too bad. I, it wouldn't be like to knock out or to the death. It would be more like to, maybe not even first blood, but it would be until like fucking someone gets hurt, which wouldn't be very hard because, well, you know, what? old men is kind of um, a weird term because like, there are different types of old men. Like, there are the old men that are, like, you know, frail, skeletal, you know, fucking sad. But most of the men that I know, once they get old, they, they're they still tough, you know what I mean? Like, because where I'm from, usually the kids always have to hang around the grandparents or the older people. Because, um, and, you know, they're, the older people still have to watch after the kids. And that means discipline too. Like my grandma, my grandmother, um, she could probably still whoop my ass if she really had to. Cause freaking, I remember um, when I was a kid, I once called her grandmother because um, I was supposed to call her by her name, uh, Mama. But then like she fucking grabbed me, not by the cheek, by the ear, or, no, by the shoulder. Yeah, she grabbed me by the fat on my arm, and that shit hurt. Okay, see like. Never underestimate old people. They will... They, they fucking hurt. Like, it doesn't matter how old or how young. If you piss someone off, they're probably gonna whoop your ass. Something... I, there's no real conclusion. I'm just thinking that, like... I think Biden... He would win. Uh, but it's really hard. Because, you know what? They're both old... Like, they both... I mean... If we're going by statistics alone, Donald Trump is like a year younger, he's three inches taller, um, he's 20 pounds heavier, so, you know, that might be muscle, and you know what, uh, the fat, because like, Donald Trump is perceived as fat, but like, there, there could be muscle under that, you really don't know, you know, like me, but Biden... Under that suit, I bet you Biden, Joe Biden, got them Joe biceps. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? Donald Trump could be kind of fit because you know for sure Donald Trump got that Donald rump. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think it would be kind of even. But I think that Joe Biden still has the advantage because of his cool, calm, collected manner. I, I really don't know. I don't really know what to say, like. It is up for discussion. Like, if someone were to ask me again, then I'll probably discuss it with you. But, yeah, as of right now, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Oh, and uh, another thing that maybe we could discuss is, like, um, if you think that you can take on Biden, Trump, the other guy, or Harris. Because I think I could take... I think maybe I could take Trump and maybe his vice... Um, a really, really big maybe on Biden and Harris. Um, more in favor of them. Twenty seventy five. Uh, favor of them. You know what I'm saying? But fuck. And like maybe if Trump had a little bit of time, like preparation time, he could probably learn enough to maybe match Biden in terms of you know, cold, calculated moves. But as it stands, like, if they were having another debate and, you know, they just exploded and started... And then, yeah, Biden definitely would win. Yeah, that's all. See ya. Jin